The Archdiocese of Chicago is a vibrant and diverse faith community. We celebrate our faith through worship, evangelization, and reaching out to the needy. Welcome to Catholic Chicago. Good morning, welcome to Catholic Chicago on WNDZ, 7.50 a.m. You can also get us on youtube.com slash Catholic Chicago, youtube.com slash Catholic Chicago. I'm Father Greg Sackowitz, the rector of Holy Cathedral, and co-host Mark Teresi, who does much, much great work at the cathedral, including our 175th anniversary coming up on 150th. Morning, Mark. How are you? Good. 175th for faith community, 150th for the actual cathedral itself. It's amazing. It's so how fast the years have gone by. And you realize literally millions of people have walked those doors of the cathedral dating back as a parish in 1849, as a cathedral in 1875. Right. And in 2024, our little granddaughter, Eliza, will know she was somewhere in the future. She'll know she was baptized by you at Holy Name Cathedral. My last baptism was Eliza, your little uh, granddaughter. We have a great program lined up today. For over 30 years, Chicago Shares has had a simple mission, providing paper vouchers for those in need, that they may redeem themselves at local Jewel or other stores throughout the Chicagoland area. And for over 30 years, Chicago Shares has provided over 1.3 million of those vouchers for those in need. Chicago Shares is run by an all-volunteer staff and board of directors. With us this morning is King Poor, the president of Chicago Shares, and Liz Kolbeck, its vice president. So King and Liz, welcome to the program this morning. We are finally on together. Good. Well, it's, it's a pleasure. I'm always uh, glad to share the story of Chicago Shares. And I'm part of the board. Good morning. And good morning, good morning. to you, Liz. We had, we had a board meeting because I'm part of the board and very proud to be part of the board in which, King, you are a great quarterback. Liz, you are a great running back on the board of directors. <laughs> and I, I, I talk football lingo a lot. And it, um, it's just a tremendous program. I've said this to Mark and too many other people. Many people are unaware of what Chicago Shares is all about. I say to people, it's the best kept secret in Chicago. So maybe King for just a moment is give us a brief history of Chicago Shares and what is it and we'll take it from there. Okay. Well, thank you, Father Greg. Uh, Mark, uh, great to be here. And uh, well, let's start at the beginning. Uh, Holy Name Cathedral. Um, uh, over 30 years ago, 1993, uh, Chicago Shares was launched. Um, from Holy Name Cathedral, and we still, uh, that's our, our address, and we still have our board meetings there. And um, let me, I think explaining the mission often works better with the story. So let me give you a story about myself. Uh, I'm a lawyer, I have an office uh, on LaSalle Street, and over the years I've spent a lot of time walking the streets of the Loop. And uh, like anybody who's walked the streets of Chicago, you, uh, encounter people on the sidewalk uh, with a cup and a, often a cardboard sign that says something like, um, anything will help, God bless. And often I was uh, torn really, do, do, I, do I reach into my pocket and uh, put something <laughs> in there? Is that gonna really help somebody or is it is it just going to uh, perpetuate a, Bad a drug behavior. or alcohol habit. Mm -hmm. And so I I went back and forth. Sometimes I had granola bars or I'd hand those out. But then uh, one day I had bought a Streetwise magazine and there was a, an ad for Chicago Shares. And, the, and it was intriguing. It's the idea of giving out vouchers instead of money. And so um, I, I bought uh, a few Chicago Shares and I tried it out, and here's how it works. I mean, let me just show you. This is it's a simple voucher, this size, and there's a they come in a pack of five, and then there's a list of stores where they can be redeemed um, all throughout the Chicago area. And what you do, and this is a simple. This is this has been going on for 30 years, and as Father Greg said, it's a best kept secret. But it's a it's a it's a mission that's simple. It's easy to execute. Um, for I mean, in, 
And but what it does is it it gives somebody uh, the ability to go in to one of these jewel stores throughout, throughout the Chicago area and buy uh, a sandwich or a cup of soup and uh, and and you just you know drop in. And the the other thing that's I find is so important about it is it's not just the uh, the bread of sustenance, physical sustenance. It's the stopping and talking to somebody mm -hmm. on the street and letting them know they're not invisible and that uh, somebody has uh, cared enough to give them something and talk to them briefly. And that's you know part of what Chicago Shares does. I think does. also and very that, important thing in that is, uh, which is an excellent summary, when you have the coupon book you held up it's five one dollar coupons so you can give the whole booklet for five dollars you can clip out a few give them one dollar two dollars three dollars four dollars five dollars worth whatever it is you don't have to give the whole five dollars and right. the key is you are so right it gives an opportunity to stop and talk and interact i know mark you had a question yeah, Liz, you, you and King are both volunteers. What hooked you? What hooked you in, into well, giving your time? King gave, King gave his, his story. And uh, my husband and I moved to Chicago in 2012. And we were, uh, were Episcopalians. And we took a break from our week of church shopping and went in to hear a, um, a rector over at Fourth Presbyterian, uh, who was someone we knew from our previous life up in Wisconsin. And um, we noticed in the bulletin something about Chicago shares. So my husband and I had both been involved in uh, several ministries um, for feeding those who are homeless, food insecure, uh, people in shelters, uh, both uh, in Milwaukee and also in the Sheboygan area. And so we called and talked to Ron and wanted to know about Chicago Shares and how this works because we were really looking to find some place where we could continue the kind of work that has always moved us. And Ron talked to us and gave us information and we um, I think we started selling shares over at the Episcopal Cathedral um, because that's where ultimately we, we ended up going. Uh, and then when we moved to St. Chris, uh, we sell shares at St. Chris as well. And, and um, you know, within a few years, I joined the board and uh, have enjoyed every, every minute since and um, are delighted to see uh, our mission uh, expand. Uh, and also our reach expand and our visibility expand. Um, and so we hope that um, we hope that someday we won't be saying we're the best kept secret anymore, that mm -hmm. everybody's going to know, because certainly those people we meet on the street, um, they recognize what a share is. They know where to redeem them and they're very appreciative to get them. So I guess we have to get the general public into that. Uh, not a best kept secret anymore, because certainly those that we serve are well aware of us and are very grateful have us. Now, both where Liz and King have shared their stories, I want to share two stories about Chicago Shares. When I arrived at Cathedral back in July of 2016, one of the first things Cardinal Subert said to me, he says, Greg, you'll be approached by many homeless on the street asking for money. He says, do not give money. Giving money promotes bad behavior. He says, there's a thing called Chicago Shares that we are part of here at the Cathedral. And when I learned about it, that's story number one. Story number two, as I was sharing with somebody on, I think it was with Rust Street or Wabash, um, a Chicago Shares, I asked him a question. I said, Tony, what's the hardest thing about being homeless? <laughs> and he said to me, the hardest thing about being homeless is that nobody looks at you. Mm. And I thought, whoa. And he said, think about it. When you walk down the street and I'm standing there, somebody's walking, they turn the other way because if, it, if they don't make eye contact with me, then I'm not there, I'm invisible. But if I make eye contact with the person, they're afraid I'm gonna ask for money, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And where I thought he was gonna say, the hardest thing about being homeless was the cold weather, no food, shelter for the night. Nobody wants to look at you. I always remember that. So as you said, both King and Liz with Chicago Shares, it gives you a chance even for one minute 
to interact, to talk with that person. They are a human being like all of us that need care, love, and just someone who will listen. And we'll do this at the end of the program, but even right now is a good time. How do people get connected to Chicago Shares? Well, the, the best way, the easiest way is just to go on our website, chicagoshares.org. Um, you just Google that, and we have a very uh, easy um, to use feature there that says, um, purchase shares today and so you just click on that it takes you through you you can do it in uh, probably two minutes you and you can buy whatever amount of shares you want uh, we will then mail them to you and they will come with the, the the green vouchers and we've got a pink list of all the stores where they're they can be redeemed we'll talk about that in just a bit mm -hmm. we have a new feature now we now have a, an explanation with a with a light green sheet that talks about how Chicago Shares works in Spanish. Ooh, we have found this and we've good. used this over the last um, recent weeks in terms of, or re recent months with the, the influx of migrants in Chicago. Yeah. And it's, um, I've had many interactions with uh, migrants on the street and they read this in 30 seconds, they get it. It's an easy concept. I hand them the shares and there's always a, you know, heartfelt gracias after that. So um, that's the way to do it. Go to our website, chicagoshares.org, and uh, you, you'll you get the shares <laughs> quickly and they'll be mailed right to your home address. I know that your Holy Name Cathedral, once a month after our 8.30 Mass and 10.30 Mass, and usually Julie is there along with Michelle or a few others, we share, we sell Chicago shares mm -hmm. in the back of church $5 a booklet. So people buy maybe $50 worth, $100 worth, and they love it. And so we're trying to get more and more people from the cathedral after Mass to purchase Chicago shares. It's once a month. I forgot what, usually third Sunday of the month, fourth Sunday of the month. But uh, there's different ways of doing it. Um, Liz, I, I'm fascinated. You had talked about your you and your husband. In, <coughs> in each move, you try to find that Matthew 25 ministry to connect with? Where did that come from? Mm -hmm. Where did that come from in both of your lives? Um, I guess um, I, was, I was a cradle Episcopalian and since a, a very little girl, I went to an Episcopal church called Grace Episcopal Church in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. And there was a feeding ministry there. Um, I was also involved in a service club in that community. And so we we took, our service club took uh, a Saturday, every, every Saturday they had a meal. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had two seatings and a little community of 55,000 served over 200 people every Saturday in two seatings. And um, I just, um, it spoke to me it, it spoke to other places I was connected with, and I got some of them involved. My husband and I then took over that ministry. It was called Our Lady's Kitchen, and we took it over from a woman who had started the program uh, to honor her son who had died of AIDS wow. um, during the early in the AIDS epidemic. And she uh, had ill health and retired out of state and uh, handed the torch to us. And then when we moved to Milwaukee, we got involved uh, with uh, with the Catholic Cathedral, uh, with a group over there that uh, provided meals for a shelter that was um, symbiotic with the with the cathedral. We also did some work with um, with the Episcopal Cathedral, which is the church that we went to. So mm -hmm. it's just kind of it's been part of our DNA. We were both raised as people of faith and. Um, you don't turn your back on those less less fortunate. Um, we named our daughter Gra uh, Olivia Grace. Grace, oh, there but for the grace of Ooh. God go I. And I mean, it's always been something we've lived by. And um, this is a really visible way to acknowledge that faith. What a great witness. Thank you. You know, we're going to take a little break. WNDZ 750 AM Catholic Chicago. You can go to YouTube.com slash Catholic Chicago. When we come back, we'll talk, uh, talk some more about Chicago Shares with King Poor, Liz Colbeck. King, I have a question that's totally not related to any of this. How did you get the first name King? Do my best. <laughs> we'll be back in a few minutes. Please stay tuned.
people always say, how can you spend your day with three-year-olds? Seeing the changes that they go through and just the journey and how they grow, this is a very rewarding job. Even though at the end of the day, we're not the highest paid people on earth. And when I have a parent contact me and say, my child loves school, that to me, I'm setting that foundation for their love of learning. Because really you are changing lives, you are molding lives. Shape the next generation of leaders. Teach. Apply today at artchicago.org slash schooljobs. Community is core to Catholic Charities' founding mission. For more than 100 years, we have met people and families where they are, serving anyone in need, regardless of their faith, gender, race, or ethnicity. As our world absorbs the economic, political, and social aftershocks of the pandemic, 50% or more of the 6 million people living in Cook and Lake counties have little or no savings. They are a paycheck away from zero. We are deeply grateful to everyone in the Catholic Charities community who partners with us to alleviate the suffering of the people we serve and offer them a better path forward. We are witnessing a message of mercy and hope to a world very much in need. Learn more at catholiccharities.net. I am a seminarian. The church needs compassionate and well-trained priests to help guide each of us through life. What inspires me, what draws me always to the priesthood is continue to see priests be a beacon of hope for other people. You can play a part in the education of these young men as they prepare for a life of service to others. I want to be that beacon of hope too, and it, it sets my heart on fire. To support our seminarians, make your gift at archchicago.org slash seminarianfund or call 312-534-7959. We're back, WNDZ, 750 AM, Catholic Chicago. You go to youtube.com slash Catholic Chicago. We're with King Poor, President of Chicago Shares, Liz Kolbeck, Vice President, <coughs> two wonderfully dedicated lay people who are bringing Matthew 25 alive in the city. So the more un unrelated question, King, is how did you get to King? Uh, how'd you get that <laughs> name? And then, and then, but my other question would be the Matthew here. 25. You know, Matthew 25, you had an aha moment that all of a sudden now this is a ministry for you. If you could reflect on that, but first, how'd you get to King? It's my middle name, and uh, my first name's Edward. Oh. My, my father had the same name, and then we went by uh, Ted. My grandfather had the same name, we went by Ned. When uh, my mo mother was expecting me, they said, if you have a son, um, you're going to, you're going to call him, uh, King. I don't know if she was really thrilled about that idea at first, but anyway, I, that's, um, that's how I entered the world with King. And, uh, it was not easy. My third, first 13 years, uh, oh. <laughs> appearing of King in war, uh, we moved around a lot. I was often the new kid in the middle of the year. And, uh, you can imagine, um, uh, kind of playing around, um, uh, banter that created. But anyway, by the age of 13, I was, uh, fully comfortable and confident with it and I've I haven't looked back it's a great name it's a great yeah. name what about yeah. what about Matthew 25 how uh, you know you had an aha moment you, you saw that person you realized this was a ministry that you could put some energy behind how how did that happen well I had I'd always um even uh I think back even to high school I'd, I'd have this uh I've been active in our congregational church uh, uh, growing up and um, in the youth group there. And I'd always been, um, uh, you know, thanks to some good uh, um, leadership and also I think my parents' influence that uh, uh, with, with the importance of faith and what, what that means. I mean, and, and that's, uh, and that brought me to connect with um, in organizations that, you know, care and Salvation Army, but mm -hmm. um, 
it was really walking this it was walking around the streets of Chicago and thinking what can I do I mean I I was just it was in a quandary really like I I see somebody in need they're probably in need but maybe this is going to perpetuate a, a a drug or alcohol habit and what else might I do and and it was just it was just the when I learned about Chicago shares and you know not many cities have this we've been contacted by um, people in Atlanta and in Denver about how they might start something similar and it's 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 the most immediate way to reach someone uh, in a in a positive way and as father greg mentioned it's the um, and as we've put on our website it's the bread of recognition and that's what really said to me this is um a, a unique way to help something someone um right now it's and you write a check which is wonderful and, and so important and you know it's but this is one, a, a way that you reach out to somebody uh, in a way that's very immediate and yeah, that's what, see, what along, drew me those, to it. along yeah. those lines king and that is uh, both you have said it and liz is i've been ordained a priest now 45 years my first assignment in schomburg this wasn't an issue my second assignment in the college seminary this was not an issue dealing with the poor. My third assignment, St. Mary of the Woods in Edgebrook, not, an, not a problem. My fourth assignment, St. Mary's in Evanston, dealt beginning to deal with the poor on the street in Evanston in certain parts. When I come to downtown Chicago, the cathedral, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. you can't walk a block without running into someone who's asking for money. And here's, here's the quandary. Many people have said to me, they're walking to work. They're walking from the train. They're walking to the train. And they said they get asked by about eight or nine people for money along the way. You can't possibly give money to everybody. What Chicago Shares does, even there you have to put a limit on it. You can't give a booklet to everybody, even, even give like three or four dollars worth to everybody. You'll go broke because you buy maybe a certain amount for the week. But what Chicago Shares does is at least gives an opportunity to help someone or a few people. Because there's no way we're not going to be able to help everybody on the street, but to help somebody makes a huge difference. So I know that for you, King, and for you, Liz, you're walking the streets of Chicago, but you said earlier, and you can maybe expound on this, Liz, is you meet somebody, it gives you a chance to talk with that person. Now, you might be in a hurry, but even one minute of your time, can make all the difference for someone who is homeless. Say more about that, Liz. Oh, oh, definitely. And I mean, we all have our neighborhoods. Um, Chicago is a city of little neighborhoods. And I mean, we've known some people that we give shares to now probably for eight, 10 years. Uh, and we know them by name now. Mm -hmm. And we if they visited their kids over the holidays and we know if they've been ill and they ask about our families or our dog if it's not with us so you actually have developed relationships and it's it, what is so beautiful about it is it just is so simple not only is it simple to buy them and and uh, one thing um, I wanted to add King to what you said about buying them online is that we now have a map on our website and it shows all the churches you can just um, you can just kind of um, you know move your cursor over to a little pin and the pin is dropped where a church is that sells the shares so if somebody doesn't even want to go through the trouble of doing it online or doesn't have a charge card but has five dollars they can run by a church and pick it up for five dollars you can make a difference in five people's lives if you mm -hmm. want to i mean it's it's just such a beautiful simple thing um also uh, what I like about the program is the shares can not only be used for food and toiletries at the jewel. At some of the jewels, they are people are able to um, bus tickets. Um, and some of the pharmacies, if they haven't already, will be able to um, apply it to wow. medication which is especially important to the migrants because a lot of them have medical services and they can see a doctor, but then they don't have the cash maybe to buy a prescription. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, this is another way that sh shares can be used to help people. So, so even, I mean, it's it's a simple program. It's, um, it's amazingly easy to operate when you have a dedicated board like we do. Um, and, um, and it just reaches, it has a reach that you, 
you it, it, the sky is the limit the number of people it can be reached and see along, um, along those we lines share of, our story with people who, who want to help the poor not only is it for the jewel but also subway and other places too but also not to be very honest there's another side of this sometimes yep. i'll walk up mm. to, and talk to a homeless person who doesn't have a clue what chicago shares is all about so i explain it to them and sometimes they kind of hem and haw because they're looking for money but then a few people have said to me, I've started this and it makes a big difference. In my eight years here at the cathedral, only twice in eight years have I run into someone who said, I don't want that, I want cash. So I keep the coupon and say, thank you, God bless, and have a good day. But 99% know what it's about because I've seen from other people, I've given it to them, and they're so, so appreciative. Maybe King and, and Liz, in our last minutes, uh, your leaders in this organization, what are your dreams for Chicago Shares? Maybe, um, maybe Edward King first and then Liz. Okay. Uh, first of all, continuing what we've been doing well for 30 years and then finding ways to expand that. And for instance, um, making us a resource for migrants and that's what we've done with these beautiful green cards that uh, translate what it does and the other thing that is uh, been remarkable and i want to give credit to our executive director julie stagliano and our former president ron polonecki who have really set the groundwork for so much of this and you know i'm i'm just a president for the last year and i really owe so much of what um you know what i've been able to do um, based upon what what they've done and we have you know thanks in a large measure to uh, a lot of good work by them we've expanded the network of jewel stores um, up to 25 now we're now in Evanston and we're now in Oak Park which is Beautiful. which is something new and I also want to give a shout out to the whole uh, jewel organization who has worked with us um, in so many ways over the years and really it, you know we we really rely upon jewel and we um, are very grateful for them so in terms of um, goals uh, expanding our reach we don't need to change what we've, we're doing we're, we're a, a relatively small organization but if we can expand the reach of that um, and, and we are we, we're, we're going out and when there's there's more possibilities that's what we want to do and we also want to do things like what we're doing right now um, on, on this program is letting know, more people know about what we do and how simple it is, but how effective it is. Uh, it's the, the homelessness problem is, is vast, but what we do is a, a small part of it, but it's an important part of it. And, and now in, in, in 30 in seconds, so, Liz, your hope and dream in the last 30 seconds. Uh, well, I, I would like to see us uh, continue to give grants which uh, those shares that are unused, and, and some are, um, we give grants out every uh, couple years to other organizations for whom um, feeding the homeless uh, and the hungry is part of their mission, and maybe in a different way than, than us, but um, we support the, that endeavor all over this city with a lot of other nonprofit organizations. I would also like to see people continue to look at different creative ways to use it. Our church puts it in gift bags at the holidays. Um, we have other churches that give it out uh, when people off the street come in looking for help. Liz, I've um, got to cut this to short. We, are, we have run out of time. Shares at Christmas yeah. to others. Liz, Liz, so we were, to the person who has everything, give $5 worth of shares and allow them to expand and open their hearts. Yeah, Liz, Liz, Liz we are out of time. I've got to cut this off here. I want to see those kinds of things be, become a natural way that shares are being distributed. And um, we'll see that if our, if our dollars go up in sales. But those are my dreams. Well, thank Beautiful. you very much. Uh, great, great summary and vision, both for King and for Liz, we want to thank in a very special way King Poor, the president of Chicago Shares, and Liz Colbeck, its vice president. King and Liz, you've been two outstanding guests this exactly. morning on the program Beautiful. to share what Chicago Shares is all about. So thank you for being guests on the program. Be back again in the future. Special thanks to co-host Mark Teresi for his wonderful. wonderful job this morning. Always great to, to be with you, Mark, and yes, to thank see you. you. Great job of our team this morning, Brian Hockey Hitman Brock. Clint Cottrell, Javi Garcia, to our listeners, may God bless all of you and have a very wonderful day.